I'm Chris Donaldson from Cryptops, and I'll take you through my gear setup right now. This is probably uh, the simplest of the simplest to make sure everything is efficient and fast. So far, off my uh, trustworthy Ibanez uh, Iron, like the baritone Iron model. I know. I really like the baritone thing. There's a kill switch here for extra weirdness, but it's super simple. You know, one volume knob, two EMGs. I like the scale that it's pretty long, so it's really awesome for this because I have like really long fingers. Other than that, uh, I just like it. I don't even like Floyd. I try to have like the simplest thing as possible. I'm actually sponsored by Dario right now, so this is the act gauge I'm using for live 1260. I really like that one too because it just gives like the, the thickness I need here, and I can still lead on top because it's not too hard. I used to I used to play with the 1360 62 which were great and I still use them for studio but I feel like for live it's a little too hard and when you're playing every day like, with all those like intense solos it's a little too heavy on your strength so you need to go a little lighter live and heavier in studio so that's what I use it here. You're very I try to change my strings every two shows I think I just think they're dying you know like the tone is dead after two shows and I could still go on for a bit, more, a bit longer if I want to but I just to make sure I'm not gonna pop any strings I try to change them as often as possible, so two, every two shows is probably the good ratio for me. Uh, I used to have my own signature pick kind of thing, but I didn't like them anymore, so now these days I'm using like the Dunlop Jazz 3 with extra grip kind of thing in it, you know? Which I, the Max Grip Jazz 3, I think they're really awesome. And I, uh, like Kenny from Arbitrary introduced all those picks to me on this store, and since, like, since day one I'm now an addict, so I really like these ones. So I might be using them more often now. This is uh, my amp. <laughs> Good old camper profiling amp. I'm using the profile of uh, 5150 I did myself in my studio uh, through Mesocab Oversize. And uh, I just bring that rig with me on tour, so I just feel like I'm home everywhere I go, so that's awesome. <laughs> Other than that, uh, that tuner. Because that's as far as this back And that's it. <laughs> it's so easy, yeah. Hey, what's up? It's Oliver from Cryptopsy. First. I'll show you this, which is my main base. It's a Spectre 5 Euro LX. It's a uh, neck through base, very solid, big piece of wood, a uh, lot of sustain. Like, like you can hear it. Every time I'm just practicing at home, I play unplug because <laughs> the wood is, you know, strong enough for this. I always use the Dario, a regular gauge which is 130 to uh, dot, uh, 45, which is a basic gauge, but for a standard B, it's perfect. These strings are killer, good good tone. They're on tour, <laughs> it's perfect because I can play like a bunch of show without yeah. changing any strings. The Dario, man. This one is my backup basis. It's a Spectre Rebop, which is Bolton, made in the Czech Republic. And uh, to be honest, this one for studio is just killer, killer. I use it on the every Cryptopsy album I did, uh, every session band like Solium Fatalis, Ending Tyranny. It just, I don't know why, but studio, this bass for me, uh, I think it sounds better. It, it's kind of weird because on this bass it's an EMG HZ, which is passive. And uh, at first I was, I don't know, I had this thought that maybe passive is me. I don't know, way uh, less uh, punchy, less heavier. But like I said, man, in studio it just sounds great, sounds fat. So I like it a lot. And on this one, it's different. It's just EMG, I think it's 45 DC. It's uh, active, so I obviously need a battery. It's a 9 volt like yeah, power. I have this Spectre foam pump inside, which is a preamp. Uh, dude, this, I like it a lot, man. It's just so good for a live situation. This one and the studio, I have this one. So, yep. So this is all I have for the tour. No amps, nothing. So basically, I start with this, which is a power amp from Electro Harmonix. Just 44 power of watts. This is not a lot, but I mean, I just plug this right into the cabinet. So this way, I have you know my base behind me to support. I like it a lot. But otherwise, I use this. This is the Dark Class Electronic B7K. Uh, the thing I do is I play direct. 
So I just plug the XLR right to the PA system, made a little bit of bass in the monitor. That's it. That's it, man. It's so simple. That's the only thing I had to carry this in the base, so pretty good. But normally, put this like that, blend in the top, low mid, like that. And yeah, which is cool is I can control the, the ground here. I prefer I like that, raw, because the distortion is more fat, I think. So, no, it's very cool for me, and I don't put a lot of drives, so I don't need that much. It's, I know, I, I do a lot of uh, slap and pop and stuff, and in that metal, you know, it's, it's hard to cut when you're a bass player, and, and, uh, over the drum, the guitar, the vocal, but that pedal, man, with the treble and drive, they give me the, a right tone and uh, a fat tone at the same time, which is perfect, man. Basically, this one is... I use this for a year now. It's just a comp compressor. Like I said, it's hard to uh, cut in the mix when you're in death metal, but that thing just changed everything. It's like, it's magic, man. It is, every note I play, it's on the same level. You know, I can play finger style, uh, pop, slap, tapping, everything will be at the same level, which is crazy. <laughs> this, yeah, the, like my tour manager said, this is like Photoshop for bass player. Check this out, <laughs> it's crazy. And then I have this uh, classic tuner, which is a classic, like I said, like uh, you, can't, you can't find best tuner for live situation. I think everybody knows this tuner very well, so yep, that's my rig. <laughs>